behind you, but, you know, we'll work it out. Hi! So, same way with the uh, zucchini. Just cut the outside as well, because the inside is full of seeds and water. Don't treat it in the same way. If you have a mandoline at home, it's even easier. So that way, you know, you just have to do one shot. You just set it up, and it just does the julienne really even and everything at all times. So that's the easiest part. But if you don't, which is the case right now, I wasn't downstairs, but it would be less fun. So, so then you do all your julienne, carrot as well. Treat it the same way. There's no seed inside. Just in case. So same way, just cut it thin slice. Also the key of it is a sharp knife. It helps. The sharper your knife is, the less problem you'll have, you know, especially if you cut your hands. Because the less sharp it is, the more you're gonna insist on it, and that's where you're gonna make mistakes. But if it's really sharp, technically, technically, you shouldn't have a problem. So then Join a little bit also. Also, to flavor it, I think you can put herbs uh, like thyme, rosemary, but it might be a little strong, or else you put just a little piece. But on this dish, I would rather put um, how do you call it? citrus, which is lemon, lime, orange. This makes it flavors. And you just want to either use a grater that you would have at home, grate all the outside, not all of it because it will be too much for two people, it depends how many you will do for. And then, me personally, I won't grate it, I'd rather have a little segment. So when you have it here, I peel the edges real quick. Julian of all of them. So we do it here. So, side. So as you can see, in a couple of minutes, pretty much my whole setup is ready. So it's really quick. The asparagus, yeah, like I said, I blend them because. If you put it, you can put them raw, it still will cook, because you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil at, the, at the, the very end. But if you put it raw, then at the very end, they're gonna look like a little turn. I mean, it's like not really bright green and not really nice. So the fact that you blanch them, you're gonna conserve the color and the vitamins and everything of it. So now I'm gonna start the tapio. Quick. Line of piece of paper. First, we want to take a scissors. The idea is just to take a little piece on the side that you will use for a rope just to tie it up instead of using a rope or plastic or anything else. Because you know that this won't melt. It will resist to 450 Fahrenheit. You cut a strip all the way long. Keep it on the side. And starting from here, we're gonna start with the spinach. They already chilled down. They're pretty much room temperature. A little more, but that'll be fine. Okay. 
So here it's finished in the center, you want to work in the center. So that way it's easier and you can grab all the corners and bring it back together and tie them up. So first we'll do the spinach, then we have the steamed potatoes. Of course, the halibut, which was pre-seared with just olive oil, salt and pepper, so simple. For the middle, then you want to add citrus julienne. Don't exaggerate on it because it's pretty powerful, so you don't want it to be too strong. Just a little bit. Then we'll add the blanched asparagus. And on top, we'll add a little bit of julienne vegetables. Which are well and kind of cooked within the parchment paper. So the good part of this dish is like it's not too complicated. It's pretty healthy because it's basically no butter, only olive oil, and just stack them up. You have plenty of colors. You have green. You have uh, orange. You have. Uh, white, you have purple, you have everything, so it's pretty colorful and nice. Then what you want to do, put a little bit of olive oil. You can add a little more white wine if you want, as your taste, but since you already have some in the spinach, you don't want to overpower it too, and make a soup inside. Then a little bit of salt, pepper as well. Then you want to grab four corners. Also, the great part of this dish is like it's not made only for halibut. It's like all flaky, I would say, flaky type of fish. That would mean actually on our banquet menu, if you want to look at it on the website, we already have uh, sea bass on it, which is pretty much flaky. And you can use salmon, you can use Dover sole, and all those fish that would cook, I would say, not hard meat fish, like would be grouper or this kind of fish, and too powerful as well. You want some fish that is kind of light, because as soon as you're going to open it, it's going to just blow up on, you know, on your nose, and it's too strong, it won't be that, that really nice. So I just want to tie it up like this, and I'm going to use a little cut of rope. You think I have a spare? What did you do with mine? The little piece of paper I gave you? What 